Stefan. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Hopefully, this session will be a lot uh, smoother, technical-wise. Uh, I'm here with uh, Stefan, who is a CTO at uh, StudyTube. Uh, and Stefan will be uh, giving his stay around for some Q&A at the end as well. Uh, so please feel free, attendees, to, to drop questions in the chat or in the Q&A tab. Uh, and we'll try to answer them as uh, good as we can uh, during the end. And we will leave uh, five minutes at the end, Stefan, so you have about 40 minutes to, to, for the presentation. Uh, let's see. Let, the stage is yours, Stefan, so just uh, take it away. Great. Thank you. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here. Uh, for a second time for me on dev days and the yeah, previous time it was more real life now it's more online let me share my screen and we will start yes. so i did the talk it's from one side it's quite specific it's about angular and about some uh, specifics of server side rendering, but on the other side, I also made it uh, quite high level that people who are not very familiar with Zenger or with server side rendering could also get something out of it, or at least some inspiration to try it. Uh, so, about myself, like you already heard. I'm CTO at StayTube, and I also do a lot for Angular. That's why I got title Google Developer Expert in Angular. I'm organizing different meetups and doing workshops. And from this slide, I most recommend you to check this uh, link out. I'm recording also some pro content that is on YouTube and it is free. So you're welcome to check it out. And for any sort of questions, uh, you can use, obviously you can use Q and A session, but if you decided to try something after the talk and you have more questions, you or you have any other not related questions to Scully, but maybe questions about Angular, you're also very welcome to ping me in my Twitter that you also see here. And one more thing, because I'm originally from Ukraine, I cannot skip this topic that it's really terrible for people who still think that it's just a local conflict. Uh, it's really not. The picture that I shared with you, that's basically the office of uh, IT company that's in Kharkiv, in my home city. It was completely destroyed after bombing. So please, please, please join us by sharing this information, by supporting the nation. And I hope all together we can stop the war in Ukraine. Speaking about of, of our agenda, it's quite simple. We will discuss what Scully is, if you haven't heard about Scully. And we will try to compare by different parameters Scully and Angular Universal. It's, if you work with server-side rendering in Angular, you probably already heard. So, Scully. What Scully is? To understand Scully, first of all, we need to speak about Jamstack and understand what Jamstack is. The goals of Jamstack are, first of all, render everything that you have. And it's also important not only provide static content, but also provide possibility to run 
single page application after it. Obviously, when you have everything already generated, cache works for you very well. And yeah, also the power of CDN, when you can just render everything and upload and then surf like static. And other benefits of Gemstack, like decreasing the cost and increasing security because with Gemstack, everything is already pre-rendered. You don't have any injections on rendering stage. And same goes for production environment that it simplifies it a lot and decreases your cost. So that, that was about Gemstack. And what is Scully comparing to Gemstack? Scully is a static site generator. And the goal of Scully is exactly to support all the Gemstack goals. In addition, the Scully is made for Angular. So it should work for all Angular projects. And it should work in a very simple way. Also, additional benefits of Scala, it supports Markdown. So when you have Markdown files, you can easily generate it with help of Scala, it will be generated to HTML within your Angular Scala application. And also you can extend Scala with different sort of plugins. We will speak about it a bit later. So, Basically, what we have, like for any sort of server rendering, we have initial index file. It serves with Angular application. And after Scala rendering, after Scala compilation, you will have a lot of different index files. So basically for uh, each uh, router state, you will have the copy of your index file, but maybe some internal parts will be different. So looking at initial index file size, you can see that it's comparably small when it's not rendered yet. So you have only, uh, your uh, main component that's without any internals. After the file gets much bigger. But you should also take into account that before we had all these files with polyfills, with uh, runtime JS and main JS, all this code. And after it's gone. So we it's not, it's not mandatory to load Angular itself, at least from the first screen. That's why to have fair comparison, in total you have around 400 kilobits versus 20, 26. Speaking about how Scully works, we can say that it's just two steps. First step, Scala analyze your Angular application and try to define all the pages based on your router configuration. And after, based on this config, it generates all the static HTML pages. And we can adjust this process a bit, uh, extend it, to help Scully to find and correctly find all the routes, we can use own customizable router plugins or some plugins that are provided out of box. Also for rendering, we can inject any sort of functionality, any sort of process, any sort of logic into the rendering. 
some suggestion is if you don't need Angular at all for your static pages, for example, for some part, you can also remove Angular. It's also possible. Uh, when do you need those plugin, plugins, for example, for router? In case of states with parameters, like you see here, we have about settings and cats. About settings and cats are simple, right, uh, simple routes, but cats slash cat ID is route with parameter. So Scully doesn't know IDs of your cats. That's why it's not possible to generate exact amount of pages, pre-render exact amount of pages for cats. So we are creating special cat plugin, our own one, that will help Scully to understand all the IDs. And this plugin can work with API of different sort of CMS systems like WordPress, Joomla, and others. And asynchronously get all this information about IDs. And after, we have correct generation. So Scully generated about settings and cats. That's they are static. And also, it will generate as many pages as we need for each cat. It's quite convenient. Also, we can provide just a JSON file with IDs. And here you see an example of such a plugin. We will specify that for cat slash cat ID route, we would like to provide JSON file with all the IDs. Also, like a bonus part, Scully has possibility to generate by Angular schematics ready to use blog. And as I already said, uh, it has possibility to convert markdown files into HTML. So it means you can write your artic articles in markdown files and it will be converted to HTML automatically by Scully. Before Scully, I was looking for quite a long time for such an engine to have my own blog on Angular, but to have uh, blog posts on Angular, it sounds like overkill. And with Scully, you can build your whole site with Angular and your blog post will be automatically generated into static ones with help of Scully. And here's more remarks that I faced uh, during configuration Scully for my blog. All the new articles are generated with this flag published but only false. And after, after generation, it will be not possible to access your art article without putting this flag to true. So you can either remove this flag at all, by default it's true, or you can put it into false and you'll find your art article after. So don't forget about this. I, I, I was, uh, from the very beginning, I was seriously confused and it took me quite some time to find my article. Also in scope of uh, Scully, uh, if you're also interested to migrate to Scully, I've written an article, how to migrate from WordPress to Scully in few simple steps. To have all your, all your blog posts that were previously created in Markdown, somewhere maybe on GitHub. So, and now we are moving to uh, second part. 
uh, about server-side rendering. And here, also to make it more clear about server-side rendering and uh, Angular Universal, there are two definitions, and sometimes it's confusing. Actually, server-side rendering, it's a concept itself, and Angular Universal is exact implementation of server-side rendering. So, in fact, we'll compare Angular Universal to Angular Scully. Also, before comparing, it's good to ask ourselves, uh, why do we need server-side rendering at all? Because we are comparing two tools, but why do we need to use those tools? And first thing is, obviously, SEO optimization. It's still, uh, our search engines are getting smarter and smarter, but still static pages are indexed uh, much, much better than uh, single page applications that are with dynamic content. That's why if you just pre-render uh, your single page application for a search crawler, it will give much more information. Also, one more obvious thing, it's about first screen. If you need to serve your web application to some slow devices or mobile handset, or you have situation when uh, internet, internet speed is not that great in some areas, first screen is really important. Users will not wait till your huge Angular application will be loaded completely. In this case, you can just quickly show first screen and somewhere in the background load all the rest. And also third point uh, that many of us even haven't thought of, it's about social friendly previews. All Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever, when you paste the link, they try to parse the content from this link and provide you suggestion to have a preview or just make a preview for yourself without even asking you. To make nice preview, you should use uh, different sorts of tags, but you will, net, you will never get the great result and specific result for specific page if you don't use pre-rendering and provide static content. With static content for each page, you could have different picture, for example. But without status, without status, providing static content, you will always have the same, the same preview, the same picture. That is also quite, quite boring for a social part. So we all agree that server-side rendering is interesting. Now we are moving to the part where we need to define what tool is the best for us. And let's compare it by different parameters, Angular Universal Scully. First, how we can initialize both projects. And here, with help of Angular schematics, both are doing really great. You need only one comment and Angular Universal and Scully are they are initialized in your on your Angular project. You just need the Angular project and run this command. Speaking about dev environment, here it's a bit different because um, Angular Universal team they managed to do it in the one command, but Scully team decided to keep it still three commands, maybe to make it more transparent that first you need to build your Angular application, 
then you do build and compilation with Scully and only after run the Scully server. In terms of rebuild, for dev server, dev server builds for you and for, because it's first point ng build, Scully will not do it for you. So you will have to rebuild the application again. So normally how I did the development, I first I ran normal ng serve without Scully. And when the application was perfect, I started working on static part and I ran Scully. Not like I did the, the whole development with Scully. Speaking about production environments, uh, it's quite simple to stop, but for Angular Universal, you obviously need Node.js running. Uh, for Scully, you can just comply it once and after just upload to any CDN, so you don't really need a server for it. I mean, you, you obviously need a server to provide static content, but you don't need any server like Node.js to compile something. Going next, speaking about rendering. As you may know, Angular Universal is using NG Express engine. So it's, it, go, it goes without real browser. And Scully uses headless browser Pupiter. And what it gives for us. If you already tried Angular Universal, you know that there are some limitations. It's better not to use global variables like document, window, navigator. Actually, it's, it's good not to use global variables at all in the project for other reasons. But if you have some legacy project with some old jQuery, jQuery plugins, they're still using it, that's for sure. And it means that with Angular Universal, you will have a lot of problems. You will have to remove some plugins, you will have to rewrite some plugins. And Scala will easily do it for you. Speaking about compilation on fly, it's obvious that Angular Universal is exactly was built for it. You make a request and the content is generated for you. And Scully works another way. You need to generate all the pages and then you provide it to a user. It's also possible to regenerate it partially, to regenerate with some filter, but still like it will be not possible on fly. It's all this technique by regenerating only, only partial regeneration. It works very well when you made the changes for your blog, for your blog article, and you would like to regenerate only one specific page. And it works great. You don't need, you have two, two, two hundred, two, 200,000 of articles, different articles. You don't want to regenerate them all. Only in case you made a change global change of application base. But if it's only one article, it's probably good to regenerate only this page. But it's not about regeneration, regeneration on fly. So that's the partial regeneration that I just told you. You can do it also with Angular Universal and with specific flag, you can do it with Scully. I actually, for my blog, also set up partial regeneration that goes my blog GitHub uh, repository is connected to 
automatic deployment. And from automatic deployment, there is a script that gets what files you change from latest commit. And based on this, I run different command to regenerate scaling. Okay, going next, some benchmarks about speed. And here, frankly speaking, I was surprised about Scully because I thought that Angular Universal doing here much better. But in fact, uh, up to like 10, 10,000 pages to generate, they're very comparable. So if you don't have a lot of pages, you shouldn't care about speed at all. They are doing both great. And only after some specific amount, Angular Universal doing better. So if you need if you need to regenerate pages on fly, if you have a lot of pages, probably you have to go with Angular Universal. Uh, by the way, I took this statistic from Sam. There is a detailed also article with also links to source code. You can check it to yourself for both applications, Scala and Angular Universal. Same goes for benchmarks about file size. That's like probably two most important and interesting parameters for us how fast and how big is the size after, how big is the size of static files. And here we can see that also Scala and Angular Universal, they are super close to each other. So no much difference in terms of size. They're both tools generating quite well. And also, like in addition, we can say that for Scully, for example, Scully is super customizable. You cannot really inject something in Angular Universal engine, so it will render like it will render. But with Scully, super flexible in these terms. And you can render it in so many different ways. It also helps me when I try to move my articles from WordPress. Uh, I created several plugins to make it possible also to, for example, download. I had to download also, also uh, all the images from WordPress. And I created the plugin that during rendering also downloaded all the all the images. It was quite convenient because I had quite some amount of articles. And as I already said, it's also about removing Angular completely with Angular Universal. Well, at least as far as I know, it's not possible. Uh, Anger is still there, and with Scully, you can make it pure JavaScript HTML thing without Anger at all for some yeah, cases. And yeah, and as you, if you want to start, if you are an Angular developer, if you like Angular and you have a blog that's also, and you want to start a blog. And generate the schematics that provided in Scala out of box. Just these two commands. First, to generate the block structure. Second, is to create your first article. But don't forget about publish flag. As I said from the beginning. And 
again with help of uh, block creation, MD markdown files uh, compiled into HTML. So, like a conclusion, I can say that there is no specific winner or loser. Depends on the situation. You need to decide what to use, what fits better for your project, either in your universal or Scala. If you have some legacy old project with jQuery and so on, probably it's good to use to start with Scully because it will be much more easy to try static generation, to try some caching, to try CDN without much effort. And for Inger Universal, I would say if your pages are not that static, they're changing from time to time. They're changing, they're changing a lot. So it's not block-like. It's maybe some database, database of some items that is updated quite often. So you need to regenerate these pages. You need to keep them up to date. In this case, in your universal, would be solution. So that was my quick comparison. If you have any questions, any question related to server side rendering, Angular Universal, Scully, or Angular in general, you're welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Stefan. Uh, great talk. I haven't used Scully myself, so this was uh, this was interesting to to listen to. Uh, I've been monitoring the the chat, and we haven't had any questions so far. Uh, let's see if some comes in. I hope they do. Uh, did you uh, say that you built a blog with Scully, or was it just a like a demo for this presentation? No, no, no it was. Uh... My my own blog that we're on WordPress. I still I still keep actually both versions, but uh, I did the migration. Yeah. And migrated all the articles to Markdown. And as I said, I also wrote an article how to how to do it in d d detailed instruction how to do it. Yeah. So the public probably... flag. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. The first thing, cool. probably, if you go Google from WordPress to Scully, it will be my art article. Cool. So what made you, uh, you said that it's always up to uh, to the developers to, to like look at your use case and decide if you need to go with Angular Universal or Scully. So what made you pick Scully for your blog? Uh, well, as I said, it's exactly the case of pages that are not updated so often. So I created an article, well, and I'm not updating it each day. Sometimes I make some changes. Yeah, it could be some misprints and so on, but it's not that uh, we need to regenerate it each time. So I basically, I have something like around two or three um, hundred articles, and I can compile everything. To compile everything, yeah, it will take probably several minutes, but then I can provide my blog, like even on GitHub pages, for example, like all static content, HTML. Otherwise, I do need, and I still have web server with Nginx with uh, PHP for WordPress and all this complex, yeah, obviously database, uh, MySQL mm -hmm. database. So the, the setup is the way more complex. And when you have this setup with Scully, you can write your articles even on GitHub with Markdown. And if you set up your continuous deployment correctly, so each time when you 
when you push some update, the new page will be generated and added to your blog automatically. So, uh, if I get this correctly, you, uh, Scully is made for Angular, correct? Or can you use it with any other framework uh, like React or Vue? Or... I know there's alternatives, but is Scully just for Angular? Uh, yeah, as far as I know, it's yeah. possible to use for other frameworks. That's mm -hmm. true. But uh, yeah, I use. Uh, I am I am an Angular developer, so I used exact. I know that there are alternatives for other frameworks. Yeah, and I exactly uh, was looking for Angular solution for it. Cool. It would be strange if I would use some other static <laughs> static generator like React static yeah. generator being an Angular developer. That's yeah, yeah. Uh, but what are you using uh, Angular for? Since uh, Angular is an application framework in my world, at least, uh, and you, you're building the static sites. So do you use it for? What's the specific use case for Angular in your blog? I, well, just 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 to build an application, it's quite convenient. You, you yeah. with uh, site generation, you can create it really quickly. Uh, yeah, I like that. You, I can also set up, for example, um, search. Right now, it works yeah. much much faster. Client side search because well, uh, two three hundred articles. It's still not a lot. It could be easily done. Well, I'm not speaking about Elasticsearch and some really fancy stuff with looking for some synonyms, but just to search by word, it, it works on client side much faster. So it's almost instant search that they made with Angular, RxJS, and when I type in the search area, it searches immediately. And Great. yeah, so are several more, several more, some faint, fancy widgets. <laughs> of course, all the bells and whistles. Yeah. Uh, great. Uh, I think you gave an excellent introduction to, uh, to Scully and the comparison of Angular Universal. So thank you very much for that. Uh, I haven't gotten any questions in the Q&A tab yet. So uh, I think we'll end it there. And I would like to thank you yeah, well, very much for your time. You are welcome. And as I said, maybe somebody from the audience will check the video after. You're very welcome to ping me with all your questions in oh, my Twitter, Twitter account. So you're always welcome with interesting questions. Yeah, great. So for uh, the rest of uh, your attendees, uh, we'll be taking a short break and be back in a couple of minutes with uh, the next talk. So thank you very much, Stefan. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks. Have a nice day and uh, the rest of the conference. Yeah. And uh, I hope I'll see you again. Yeah. Cool.